Get ready. All righty. We're back with T. Oh, my God. <clears throat> We're back with Team Ruby. Um, and, um, this is fun. as far as Team Ruby, my mindset with them all, um, Ruby's very strong. Yang is pretty strong. I mean, they're the, they're the duo that won Evo. Jinko's honestly just a very solid player. Blake's okay. Weiss is slept on, but she could use a little more. So, that is my analysis on Ruby. We also have Heart here, who I think Heart is actually a lot stronger than a lot of people would probably give her credit for. I think she does a lot of damage. Um, and she is actually pretty solid. Like, I think she's about like mid, mid-high as far as tier. But like, like I said, she's not winning any big tournaments. So I want to see what the uh, what Team Ruby uh, plus Heart um, is coming in with. So we'll see. So first things first, um, we got Ruby. Ruby, oh my God, Ruby is literally the best character in Team Ruby. Um, she's got the God button. He, we all know the God button. She's got, they gave her, a, a, they reduced her damage, but they gave her the cancel from Buzzsaw Blast. Um, she literally could go on point or as an assist. She's just so good. She has the power of love in the game where friendship is power. Right. She should be the most overpowered because she, she, like, this game is literally centered around friendship. Heart should be the best character in this game. Um, however, looking at Ruby's changes, like, okay, she got reduced blowback on 5A and 5AA, a, which means I guess it's good for, like, getting this consistently, getting this consistently, or, like, or, you know, doing this, and not dropping the combo, because if you try doing this, Yet. Then it's not gonna always land because not because depending on when you start the or uh, when you start the B, it can it can be a little awkward, you know. I also didn't get my second jump, but we're not gonna talk about that. But as far as those little blowback changes, it's it's good. It can help, but honestly, you'd rather just. Uh, You know, you could you but you'd rather just do stuff like that. Um, uh, gun blast. Wait, yeah. the move is now able to be canceled into the same direction. What the fuck does that mean? So, gun blast A and B. Gun yet. blast A. Oh wait, I was looking at it. Oh, I know what this means. This is stupid. <laughs> So what this means is okay. So the way gun blast works is you can shoot this and then you can you can uh you can teleport into literally any other direction except the direction that you were shooting at originally. Now you can shoot the same direction if you want to, but only with the A and B versions. So you could just keep shooting backwards or keep shooting forwards. That's hilarious to think about. Oh, also, for pedal dance, I've seen what pedal dance looks like. This move right here. Not yet. This move is so much faster. It's hilarious. It's Not yet. But it's just, it's just, it's, it's faster. That's all it is. It's faster. It's. Like, I thought that was fast. No, they made that faster. Anyway, that's Ruby for you. My turn. Next on the list, we have Weiss. Uh, Weiss has Ice uh, Pillar. Is that all? Ice Pillar. Uh, which... How dull. I really don't know what Ice Pillar does, except for stop the opponent from attacking. 
Uh, like, it, it, like it, that doesn't really stop from attacking, but like... Is that all? There you go, now you have a block of ice in the base. Let's see. Increase the distance of ice pillars set for B version. The move is now cancelable into Ice Shard. It, oh, it, oh, it's able to be cancelled. So you can cancel this into all? Ice Shard? Ice pillar. Oh, it blocks their movement? Really? I mean, I know it blocks their movement, but... Ice they can still jump over it. You know? Shield. And then of course my like one of my friends just didn't realize she has a parry. It's hilarious. Um Ugh. Okay. How dull. Like I, I guess Weiss doesn't really need too much because she's got a lot of tools. But like the only other thing she got is this and this, yes. that's actually a really, really good assist, not gonna lie. Have increased recovery. I, like, you didn't do anything to Weiss. So, I don't know what this means for Weiss come season, or er, come, uh, not season, come 2.0. Sure? <laughs> like, okay. This is why Weiss is put on the back burner. My turn. Unfortunately. Yeah. Alright, now we got Blake. Uh, Blake is probably the most technical character in this game. Um, that's just because a lot of her combos are very tricky. Um, and it's just timing. It's just, it's, it's very timing. Okay, hold on. So now she has a dash cancel during a certain move. Dur uh, she can press forward board. Change the display priority of clone to the front and added a black shade to increase the camouflage effects. Give it a try. Stone. What could she dash cancel? I thought that was new. Can she dash cancel something? Shadow. Oh! Stone. <laughs> I didn't know she could. Oh, I didn't know she could dash cancel the clone. Give it a try. Yeah. Stone clone. Stone clone. Shadow. That's cool. I didn't know she could do that. I thought she could only go backwards. Stone clone. Yeah. Shadow. Give it a try. Oh, that's cool. Actually, that's a lot more it's than I thought. Fun. See, every time I think of uh, I try <laughs> playing Blake, she gets like more interesting to me because she has so much shit to her. And add a black shoe to a piece of- Oh, so they gave her more stuff for her clothes too. Oh my god, she's gonna be so sick. Uh, for jump B, which is this. No chance! Uh, which is actually essential to- Hold on. Oh, increase the attackable time. Increase the back movement distance when the move is done in the corner and from the start. Okay. So, for like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, more you oh, let's go! go. Yeah. Yeah. I can never get this timing of this combo, by the way. Did Dex delay this a little bit? I can move it too early. Oh, fucking god, that's it. Okay, you have to delay it a little bit. Okay. Cool, now right now. Increase the back movement distance with the end of the corner from smart combo one. Okay, so. So you go further back. So. Um, it's, it takes longer to tech out of this. Um, and. Um, you get you go farther back. Shadow trick. Um, oh, there, is there a move C? Okay. Oh, All right, Lily, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Also, have fun with Pokemon. Um, a shadow trick? Do they mean shadow kick? Twelve. Up we go. Okay, so reduce the blowback distance, reduce the slide. Okay, yeah. Oh, slip, slip. Okay. 
Okay, so for that, okay, so I thought it was, I guess it, wait, so why is it called Shadow? Got you. Twirl, not there. Up we go. No chance. Up here. Okay, that's Shadow's Twirl, point. That's Shadow trip. Up we go. Okay. So for that, the blowback distance is reduced, so that way you can like combo off of it better, right? Twirl, behind you. Up we go. Dance behind you. Got you. Oh. And then, okay, they reduce the slide distance and slide down duration. They reduce the blowback and they added a slip stunt duration. Okay, so it's easier to combo off of. That's what I'm getting out of that. Into the fray. And Blake here. Um, that has increased recovery breaks. All right, and okay, so Blake. I feel like it's one of those characters where if you're good with the character, you honestly can just tear up with her. So adding more for her actually does a lot. The Shadow Trick uh, buff actually makes me want to combo with her. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because I like even trying to micro dash there was literally really difficult. What do you do after that? 2B, 5B, 5B into this stuff? Yeah. Got it. So it makes it a lot easier to combo off of that, which is good. It actually makes Blake a lot more accessible as a character, which is good for her. Just like in the Ruby anime, she's becoming more, more friendly to everybody. All right. And then lastly, we got, well, two more characters. What's going on, Sammer? How are you doing? Actually, I'm gonna, um, change, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in hearts, so that way I don't have to change, so I'll be right back. Alright, um, so the last two characters here, we got Yang here. Yang is a character I've literally been playing since day one, pure bias. And we got Heart. So we're gonna try, we're gonna go with Yang first, and then we're gonna see what Heart got changed. Because that's it after that. And then we're just going to go over my final thoughts for everything. And then I don't know what I'm going to do afterwards. I've been training for five hours at this point. Okay. So Yang, let's see. Looking at everything. If you think about it, Yang has been buffed every day. Every, not every day. Every, every patch since the game's come out. So Yang is very strong. People don't really think about it, but Yang is very strong. Okay, so let's see what they did. I wouldn't be surprised if a nerf made it in there, honestly. Um, so, uh, so... 5A yeah. has increased blowback. Yeah. Okay, that goes farther. Yeah. Understandable, dude. 5A, -A, let's see. Increase blowback distance and reduce blowback heights. Okay. 5A edge has reduced blowback heights. 2B change the head and vulnerability that occurs during the motion to the head and projectile. Wait, what? okay, let me read that slow. Change the head and vulnerability that occurs during the motion to head and projectile armor property. Change the head and vulnerability that occurs during the motion to head and projectile armor property. Change the head and vulnerability that occurs during the motion to head and projectile armor property. Okay, so she essentially, you're telling me that this now has not only head or head and vulner, like, wait, no, hold on. No, time out, time out, time out. So it's no longer head invulnerable. It's got armor? No, that sounds like a nerf. No, that sounds like a nerf. This is a situation where it sounds like, like, sure, you give her armor, but... It's one of those situations where you don't have to give armor to everything. I think this is the nerf. Okay, okay. I'll keep going then. 
For jump B, had it added headed armor, uh, headed projectile armor property. Okay. And for each armor attack, okay, this is what I think I saw. Change the attack property to be the same as semblance mode if armor is triggered before the move connects. Okay. Oh, she can't be sniped from projectile. Okay. Fair enough. So, I mean, it's good, but like, let's say you do an anti-air, because let me explain, okay, so for those who are, for the, for, let me explain where my, my, where my confusion lies. Oops. So like, let's say, um, I want to hit Yang, right? It's a, okay, so if you see that, Every time I hit her, there's a delay when she hits, yeah? Now imagine if I jab... Okay, like imagine if I do this. Now imagine if I did an anti-air in that situation, and I try to anti- and I try to uppercut, right? If I try to do, um, CB, and because of the way that works, it delays it a little bit, and they're able to just, like, either jump cancel or block it or something. That's not a buff, that's a nerf. So it kind of makes her anti-air a little unreliable because of it. So, like, I mean, Yang isn't, yeah. like, it's not gonna fucking destroy her, but it means I have to rely a little more on air to airs than just the hey, 2B, yeah. you know? Which is fine, I can do that, absolutely, but even still. I kind of want to see how Shinku adapts to this, because, uh, you know, Shinku is the best Ruby player, or Ruby Yang player. But it's interesting, you know? Because... In this situation... Um, uh, it's like she's also still has pretty ball shot as well. Yeah, that's true. May I cut in? Here I come, to me Yeah. That's true. She also has she also has this. Perfect. But to be fair, I also kinda wouldn't just throw it out. I mean it's good, but it's also kind of a it's a, it's also kind of a do or die situation, you know? I'd rather just uh, you know. If my opponent is jumping, let me try to get a. Let me see if I can get them to jump. Oh. Not random. If my opponent's. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. I'd rather just do that, you know. That's what I would do with like a. At a um... Yeah. That's what I'd rather do with a. Pre uh... That's what I'd rather do in a in a uh, a block string situation, you know. Nice try. Yeah. Me. Nice try. Especially because that um, that um, I blanked. I, on two one four A is minus four. I'd rather just do that, you know. I'd rather just do that and keep the um, um, keep the pressure going, you know. Nice try. Nice try. Unless they're still holding up back. If they're still holding up back, then I can do nice stuff like this. Hold on. Then maybe, you know? It's all dependent on the situation. I have to read my opponent in that situation. But ultimately, it's just one of those things where I kind of have to figure out what I would do instead because it kind of just seems yeah. like her anti is a little more unreliable. Sure, the whole semblance armor thing could kind of help me, but it seems like it would end up more in a trade situation than in my favor kind of situation, you know? Plus, what if they could still block it, you know? It's kind of, it's, it's things I have to kind of lab to figure out. So... It's whatever. Yang isn't destroyed. It's just, you know, gotta work around it. It's all about that adapta adaptation, B. 
Alright, last but not least, we got a uh, heart I know here. Who uh. is, like I said, we kind of solid, but doesn't really see much action. Like, you see her online plenty, but you don't ever see her anywhere else. The first move is about her homing cancel, which is a. Uh, not yet. That. Don't we put it in block, because that way it's better. Not bad. Stuff like that, and then you can, uh... Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, stuff like that. Whenever you're in the air, essentially, you can, uh, hold make dash. But if you're, if you're doing it in a combo... Not bad. Wait, it's just during certain moves, C, and the change is this move is now available to use during homing dash. The what? So you can homing dash, homing cancel? <laughs> Excuse me, I had something in my throat. You can homing dash, homing cancel? Is that how I'm reading that? Sure? May I cut in? No, Weiss, you cannot. Um. I mean, I guess keep the pressure for as much homing as possible. Fine. So yeah, you can homing dash. No, okay, that's what I thought. That sounds yeah. weird, but fine. Um, Trius. Okay, sure. Two, one, four, B. Go party! Okay. Reduce the interval of projectile produced. Adjust the position. It changes the possible arcana arcana homing to be faster. Go! Party. Okay, Not cool. Yet. And then our distortion May duo, uh, which is. Oh, it, it puts her further back. Cool. Okay. So hard didn't get too many changes, but this is interesting. Like I said, she's actually, like, she's another one of those really solid characters where you can't really do too much to her. Because she already does a huge fucking bunch of damage. Like, honestly, like... Alright, fuck up. Not yet. She has a bunch of damage on her own. Like, she's fine. Actually, hold on. That's so funny. You're, like, set up really hard on your opponent. Not yet. Yeah, like, like, so there's not really a whole hell of a lot that you can do with hearts to make her better than she already is. Like, she, like I said, isn't the best, but she's, she's solid. She's very solid. And honestly, her style fits this game fairly well. She's a bit of a meter hog, but that's honestly, like, the worst that I can think of. But that's just her style. She, like, literally, she uses a meter. <laughs> Not yet. Literally, she uses the meter in order to keep pressure going, to continue combos, stuff like that. Um, but that's just that's just how heart works. And see, like even these few changes as buffs, there you go. Maybe heart will be even better. Um, so I guess this is the point where I talk about how I feel about the patch. I'll admit, out of everything. Aside from what they did to the mid-tiers and low-tiers, I'm a little underwhelmed. Um, but... And that's because I was trying to, I was like, Oh, maybe we can see a lot more! Yeah! You know? But there was... There was... It was okay. It was okay. There's a couple ones that I'm really... That I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, the Rachel buff was really sick. The Kaji buffs are really sick. Uh, but then there's other ones that I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like the heart one that I was just talking about. The Yang one was okay. The book, and then there's the ones I thought were super. I'm just getting everywhere. That were super unnecessary. Like 
The Makoto buff, why do they uh, uh, nerf? The Makoto nerf. Why did they nerf Makoto so hard? Uh, the Igus nerf, what, what the fuck is that? You know, like, maybe there's something I'm not seeing about Igus. I know Makoto is not that good. Um, but this is going to be a whole new game, so maybe... Maybe my, me thinking everything is underwhelming is not that bad? We'll see. I don't know. Um, at this time, it's just one of those things where I kind of just have to ask people for like what their opinions are. What do you think? Who are you excited about? Are you glad that any changes happens? Are you glad that people are, cer are certain characters are not as good? Do you wish people got nerfed targeted? Do you wish people got buffed targeted? Do you wish Platinum was a better character? Because I sure don't. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, but uh, if you watched all of the changes, or if there's a certain change that you wanted to see, thanks for watching. Let me know. Tell me why I was wrong. All that good stuff. Um, I'll see you guys next time.